Uh, okay, this is Opera for Android. Uh, as you can see, it's got a native look and feel. If I click here, I can go to my speed dial. Now, the speed dial and the bookmarks have been integrated. What I can do with my speed dial now is I can combine them by just dragging one over the other. And then I have... It's a new phone, so I'm not so great with it. And now I have a folder of speed dials, uh, so you can get more on the page like that, and you can reorganize them uh, as you will. If I click to the left, I have my history. If I swipe to the right, I have the discovery engine, and this is curated content uh, by Opera. This is, um, this is the German version. If I go here, I can choose, uh, I can choose the Indian English version, for example, and then when I go back, it will refresh, and I'll get different stories localized to that area and to that language. So here we can see a lot of stuff about cricket. Uh, if I choose the cog, I can select or deselect various areas of interest. So we've curated stuff on art, business, entertainment, etc. Um, and those can be chosen as you will. There's a considerable amount and a growing amount of different territories there. This is based on WebKit. Um, so it's using Chromium underneath the hood. WebKit and the V8 engine for JavaScript, but it's available for Android 2.3 upwards because about 45% of Android users are using 2.5, so we're bringing top quality browsing and a top quality rendering engine to lots and lots of Android users who otherwise wouldn't be able to access it. You'll also see here that if I choose off-road mode and I choose on, then effectively what I'm getting is Opera Mini. This is di diverting the content through the Opera Mini servers so that I can get considerable compression there. So let me choose that. This is in off-road mode now. There's a, a slight red band across the top that indicates that.